question which will help you to recollect your EWM skills and then which will enhance your EWM skills. The question is like uh, one of the client has requested this option. Just I wanted to put it into your question so that you can give more answers on that. One thing is whenever we are doing a uh, ERP stock check postings, usually it will post 7.11 and 7.12. 7.12 is for increase the quantity. 7.11 is for reducing the quantity. So whenever you are posting with this option, uh, they wanted to post with uh, Z movement types. That means Z, Z1, 2 and Z11, they wanted to post instead of posting 711 and 712. But make sure that you remember whenever you are uh, thinking about this in your mind, it should not affect any difference analyzer postings. That means difference analyzer postings should always post 711 and 712. Okay, that's there is no change, but it should post only whenever they are doing the ERP stock check. Maybe I can give you some clue to think about it. Number one, there are multiple tables in, in the SAP EWM that is like uh, Timba, I say Timba, and then here you can see this is the table it is going to affect for 712 and 711. At the same time, if it is a correction, O and I, it is 7.11 and 7.12. Okay, so this is a table level. But other than that, we are also having uh, one more SPRO configuration. Can it be done in this way with this SPRO configuration also? So going over here, interfaces, and ERP integration, goods movements, you can see this, right? Define customer movement types, define map EWM reason code to reason movement type, I mean ERP reason per movement. And then, um, yeah, are you, if you use these two options and then do that, or any other way we can do that. If you have any bad ER enhancement, you can also tell us. So this way you can think about it and answer for that. Thank you and see you in the next question.